Coach Elizabeth here. This week's video explores taking a midlife gap year. This is hitting the pause button on your existing career to take some time and figure out if what you're doing is actually what you want to be doing. So I know this sounds kind of great, but also super scary uh, for a lot of people. Many clients come to me and by the time that they get to me, they're usually pretty unhappy in their career or they're feeling a little disempowered or a little stuck, which doesn't feel great. And we a lot of times explore giving them the space to figure out what their next career step is. So when they work with me, we do this um, while they're working in their career so there isn't really a gap in financial income or anything like that, but it doesn't have to be that way. Um, I think a lot of good can come from taking a gap year. And I know that we typically associate gap years with you know, high school grads or college grads, and this is time for internal, you know, evaluation of what we want our life to look like, what we want our career to look like. But I feel like after college, we're just expected to know exactly what we want to do. I mean, what is it? You're a sophomore, you're 20 and you're in college and you have to pick a major, which is essentially trying to decide what's going to be fulfilling career wise for the rest of your life. That sounds crazy, at least to me, this sounds completely bananas, yet it's an expectation that's put on us when we're going to college. So what happens is a lot of times recent college grads will just kind of default into a career path. I mean, how many people out there have done this? Me? I was lucky enough though, I actually defaulted into a career of sales and vitamin water was my first job out of college and it was an incredible ride with incredible people but not everybody's exactly that lucky and i can tell you that even though vitamin water was my launching pad for my career in sales i still got to a point in my life where i started asking myself even though i loved my brands and i loved the people i worked with my job was good and it paid well was this really what I wanted to do forever? I mean, is this is this it? Is this what I'm gonna do forever? No, it, it wasn't. Over Overwhelmingly no was the message coming through my head. And the first time I even had a breath to think about this was coincidentally enough when I was on maternity leave with my first daughter, Delilah. And between the crying and the feedings and the anxiety of being a new mom, it did give me a little bit of space to think, do I want to go back to my job that I had, right? I didn't have to financially, but I had identified myself with that job and that career for so long, it was way too scary to walk away. How many people out there have also thought, well, I've come so far, I don't want to start over. And clients say this to me all the time and I ask them, if you figured out you were going down a one-way road, the wrong direction, would you keep going even though you had gone almost to the end? Would you keep going or would you turn around and start going the right direction? So that's my question to you. Are you really happy in your career? If you are, fantastic, but that's not the majority of the people out there. Uh, statistically, actually about 73% of people are currently unhappy in their career or their job. So why is there such stigma around taking a year off to figure it out? It doesn't mean you're some sort of disaster. It doesn't mean that you know you couldn't keep going if you wanted to. It should be a choice. This should be a choice. I think you know we invest in our career and we invest in our education, but how often do we really stop to take time to invest in ourselves and our spirituality and our personal development, uh, not only professional but personal? A lot of times that's hard for people to do. But on the end of it, when you do take time to figure out what you want, which a lot of my clients and friends have done, they've taken a year to themselves, um, they've said it's the best choice they ever made. And sometimes they go right back into the career path that they were in with a newfound gratitude and respect for it. And some have completely pivoted and gone in other directions that feel more aligned with what their soul is telling them to do. But either way, it's a win-win because when you're midlife and you can take the time, you take back your schedule. You do things out of obligation to yourself, not your boss or not the people you're managing. You're more confident. You usually have some money in your bank account, so you don't have to be financially stressed for that year. 
And I have to tell you, just because you get off the ride for a year or six months or three months or a month, whatever feels comfortable to you, you don't lose your space. You don't lose all of your experience and all of your knowledge. All those people that you've networked with, past bosses, they're not gonna write you off if you take a year to yourself. I got news for you, they're gonna be jealous. And when you come back from that time, you will be more aligned, more fulfilled, you'll be a better leader, a better boss, and a more productive employee to whoever you're working for. So it's a win, 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 win. Everybody take a moment this week and explore on if a gap year is something maybe that feels right to you.